All right, Brown, getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clip. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, and there is another knee, and that has certainly... Now we're going! Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Lands the ground and pound strike. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Looking for a guillotine. Two minutes now to go in the opening he got round. He's put on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Both fighters back to their feet now. Switching stances here. Back to orthodox. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big knee to the head, wow. Now, oh. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going after it. One guy gets an advantage. The other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. Round two is underway. Beautiful level change, DC take. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe try to get to a choke position here, DC. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Back to the feet now. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total Quick level strikes. Change. Awesome. He went single. Rotate head outside. This dude's going for a Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 
Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Well, he's really starting to... It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Ten minutes in the books. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't. Third round underway. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Getting the hands going here early. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And now he's got that tight punch. Punch over the top. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. And look at him post on the opposite side to give himself the right distance to land these beautiful knees. And that underhook helping him control that side of his opponent. Nicely done. Fights that's for you now. 59 total strikes have now landed for Ben Askren. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Big left hand there inside. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, he gets tagged. Nice combination there. It might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Big kick lands. Great action to get to that two. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, let's look to work them out now. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I haven't. A oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine. This could be trouble. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. Gotta grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission for a big ground opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture. That'll up. do it! That's it! He got it! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. 
and gentlemen, crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And Bruce Buffer has your decision.